Marshall Islands. Coordinates, 9 degrees north 168 degrees east, 9 degrees north 168 degrees east, 9, 168. The Marshall Islands, officially the Republic of the Marshall Islands, Marshallese, Olpaneoro Canamagel, is an island country in the United States Associated State near the equator in the Pacific Ocean, slightly west of the international date line. Geographically, the country is part of the larger island group of Micronesia. The country's population of 53,158 people, at the 2011 census, is spread out over 29 coral atolls, comprising 1,156 individual islands and islets. The capital and largest city is Majuro. The islands share maritime boundaries with the Federated States of Micronesia to the west, Wake Island to the north, Kiribati to the southeast, and Nauru to the south. About 52.3% of Marshall Islanders, 27,797 at the 2011 census, live on Majuro. Data from the United Nations indicates an estimated population in 2016 of 53,066. In 2016, 73.3% of the population were defined as being urban. The UN also indicates a population density of 295 per square kilometer, 765 people per MI2 and its projected 2020 population is 53,263. Micronesian colonists reached the Marshall Islands using canoes circa 2nd millennium BC, with inter-island navigation made possible using traditional stick charts. They eventually settled here. Islands in the archipelago were first explored by Europeans in the 1520s, starting with Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer in the service of Spain, Juan Sebastián Elcano and Miguel de Saavedra. Spanish explorer Alonso de Salazar reported sighting an atoll in August 1526. Other expeditions by Spanish and English ships followed. The islands derived their name from John Marshall, who visited in 1788. The islands were historically known by the inhabitants as Jolet Genani, gifts from God. Spain claimed the islands in 1592, and the European powers recognized its sovereignty over the islands in 1874. They had been part of the Spanish East Indies formally since 1528. Later, Spain sold some of the islands to the German Empire in 1885, and they became part of German New Guinea that year, run by the trading companies doing business in the islands, particularly the Yauwit Company. In World War I the Empire of Japan occupied the Marshall Islands, which in 1920, the League of Nations combined with other former German territories to form the South Pacific Mandate. During World War II, the United States took control of the islands in the Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign in 1944. Nuclear testing began on Bikini Atoll in 1946 and concluded in 1958. The U.S. government formed the Congress of Micronesia in 1965, a plan for increased self-governance of Pacific Islands. The trust territory of the Pacific Islands in 1979 provided independence to the Marshall Islands, whose constitution and president, Amata Kaba, were formally recognized by the U.S. Full sovereignty or self-government was achieved in a compact of free association with the United States. Marshall Islands has been a member of the Pacific Community SPC, since 1983 and a United Nations member state since 1991. Politically, the Marshall Islands is a presidential republic in free association with the United States, with the U.S. providing defense, subsidies, and access to U.S. Based agencies such as the Federal Communications Commission and the United States Postal Service. With few natural resources, the island's wealth is based on a service economy, as well as some fishing and agriculture. Aid from the United States represents a large percentage of the island's gross domestic product. The country uses the United States dollar as its currency. In 2018, it also announced plans for a new cryptocurrency to be used as legal tender. The majority of the citizens of the Republic of Marshall Islands, formed in 1982, are of Marshallese descent, though there are small numbers of immigrants from the United States, China, Philippines, and other Pacific Islands. The two official languages are Marshallese, which is one of the Malayo-Polynesian languages, and English. Almost the entire population of the islands practices some religion, three-quarters of the country follows either the United Church of Christ, Congregational in the Marshall Islands, You Seek Me, or the Assemblies of God. History Evidence suggests that around 3,000 years ago successive waves of human migrants from Southeast Asia spread across the western Pacific Ocean, populating its many small islands. 
The Marshall Islands were settled by Micronesians in the second millennium BC. Little is known of the island's early history. Early settlers traveled between the islands by canoe using traditional stick charts. The Spanish explorer Alonso de Salazar landed there in 1526, and the archipelago came to be known as Los Pintados, the painted, ones, possibly referring to the octophonous people first found there, Las Hermanas, the sisters, and Los Jardines, the gardens, within the Spanish Empire. It first fell within the jurisdiction of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, and was then administered by Madrid through the Captaincy General of the Philippines, upon the independence of Latin America and the dissolution of New Spain starting in 1821. American whaling ships visited the islands in the 19th century. The first on record was the Awashanks in 1835 and last was the Andrews Hicks in 1905. The islands were only formally possessed by Spain for much of their colonial history, and were generally considered part of the Carolines, present-day federated state of Micronesia, Palau and the U.S. territories of Marianas and Guam, as well as the Marshall Islands themselves, or alternatively the Nuevas Filipinas, New Philippines. The islands were mostly left to their own affairs except for short-lived religious missions, documented in 1668 and 1731, during the 16th and 17th centuries. They were largely ignored by European powers except for cartographic demarcation treaties between the Iberian empires, Portugal and Castilian Spain, in 1529. 1750 and 1777. The archipelago corresponding to the present-day country was independently named by Kruzenstern, after British explorer John Marshall, who visited them together with Thomas Gilbert in 1788, en route from Botany Bay to Canton with two ships of the First Fleet, and started to establish German and British trading posts, which were not formally contested by Spain. The Marshall Islands were formally claimed by Spain in 1874 through its capital in the East Indies, Manila. This marked the start of several strategic moves by the German Empire during the 1870s and 80s to annex them, claiming them to be by chance unoccupied. This policy culminated in a tense naval episode in 1885, which did not degenerate into a conflict due to the poor readiness of Spain's naval forces and the unwillingness for open military action from the German side. Following papal mediation and German compensation of $4.5 million, Spain reached an agreement with Germany in 1885, the 1885 Hispano-German Protocol of Rome. This accord established a protectorate and set up trading stations on the islands of Yauwit, Jolo, and Eben to carry out the flourishing copra, dried coconut meat, trade. Marshallese Serge, high chiefs, continued to rule under indirect colonial German administration, rendered tacitly effective by the wording in the 1885 Protocol, which demarcated an area subject to Spanish sovereignty, 011N, 133-164A, omitting the Eastern Carolines, that is, the Marshall and Gilbert Archipelagos, where most of the German trading posts were located. The disputes were rendered moot after the selling of the whole Caroline Archipelago to Germany 13 years later. At the beginning of World War I, Japan assumed control of the Marshall Islands. The Japanese headquarters was established at the German Center of Administration, Yauwit. On January 31, 1944 American forces landed on Kwajalein Atoll and U.S. Marines and Army troops later took control of the islands from the Japanese on February 3, following intense fighting on Kwajalein and Aniwa Dock Atolls. In 1947, the United States, as the occupying power, entered into an agreement with the UN Security Council to administer much of Micronesia, including the Marshall Islands, as the trust territory of the Pacific Islands. From 1946 to 1958, it served as the Pacific Proving Grounds for the United States and was the site of 67 nuclear tests on various atolls. The world's first hydrogen bomb, codenamed Mike, was tested at the Aniwadoc Atoll in the Marshall Islands on November 1, local date, in 1952 by the United States. Nuclear testing began in 1946 on Bikini Atoll after residents were evacuated. Over the years, 67 weapon tests were conducted, including the 15 megaton Castle Bravo hydrogen bomb test, which produced significant fallout in the region. The testing concluded in 1958. Over the years, just one of over 60 islands was cleaned by the U.S. government and the inhabitants are still waiting for the $2 billion in compensation assessed by the Nuclear Claims Tribunal. Many of the islanders and their descendants still live in exile, as the islands remain contaminated with high levels of radiation. 
A significant radar installation was constructed on Kwajalein Atoll. On May 1, 1979, in recognition of the evolving political status of the Marshall Islands, the United States recognized the Constitution of the Marshall Islands and the establishment of the Government of the Republic of the Marshall Islands. The Constitution incorporates both American and British constitutional concepts. There have been a number of local and national elections since the Republic of the Marshall Islands was founded. The United Democratic Party, running on a reform platform, won the 1999 parliamentary election, taking control of the presidency and cabinet. The islands signed a compact of free association with the United States in 1986. Trusteeship was ended under United Nations Security Council Resolution 683 of December 22, 1990. Until 1999 the islanders received 180 million U.S. dollars for continued American use of Kwajalein Atoll, 250 million U.S. dollars in compensation for nuclear testing, and 600 million U.S. dollars in other payments under the compact. Despite the constitution, the government was largely controlled by urge. It was not until 1999, following political corruption allegations, that the aristocratic government was overthrown, with Imata Cabo replaced by the commoner Kesai note. Geography The Marshall Islands sit atop ancient submerged volcanoes rising from the ocean floor, about halfway between Hawaii and Australia, north of Nauru and Kiribati, east of the Federated States of Micronesia, and south of the disputed U.S. territory of Wake Island, to which it also lays claim. The atolls and islands form two groups, the Radic, Sunrise, and the Ralic, Sunset. The two island chains lie approximately parallel to one another, running northwest to southeast, comprising about 750,000 square miles, 1,900,000 square kilometers, of ocean but only about 70 square miles, 180 square kilometers, of land mass. Each includes 15 to 18 islands and atolls. The country consists of a total of 29 atolls and 5 individual islands situated in about 180,000 square miles. 470,000 square kilometers, of the Pacific. The largest atoll with a land area of 6 square miles, 16 square kilometers, is Kwajalein. It surrounds a 655 square mile, 1,700 square kilometers, lagoon. 24 of the atolls and islands are inhabited. The remaining atolls are uninhabited due to poor living conditions, lack of rain, or nuclear contamination. The uninhabited atolls are, the average altitude above sea level for the entire country is 7 feet, 2.1 meters. Shark Sanctuary In October 2011, the government declared that an area covering nearly 2 million square kilometers, 772,000 square miles, of ocean shall be reserved as a shark sanctuary. This is the world's largest shark sanctuary, extending the worldwide ocean area in which sharks are protected from 2,700,000 to 4,600,000 square kilometers, 1,042,000 to 1,776,000 square miles. In protected waters, all shark fishing is banned and all bycatch must be released. However, some have questioned the ability of the Marshall Islands to enforce this zone. Territorial Claim on Wake Island The Marshall Islands also lays claim to Wake Island. While Wake has been administered by the United States since 1899, the Marshallese government refers to it by the name Anankio. Climate The climate has a dry season from December to April and a wet season from May to November. Many Pacific typhoons begin as tropical storms in the Marshall Islands region, and grow stronger as they move west toward the Mariana Islands and the Philippines. Due to its very low elevation, the Marshall Islands are threatened by the potential effects of sea level rise. According to the president of Nauru, the Marshall Islands are the most endangered nation in the world due to flooding from climate change. Population has outstripped the supply of fresh water, usually from rainfall. The northern atolls get 50 inches millimeters, of rainfall annually, the southern atolls about twice that. The threat of drought is commonplace throughout the island chains. Fauna Crabs include hermit crabs, and coconut crabs. Birds Most birds found in the Marshall Islands, with the exception of those few introduced by man, are either seabirds or a migratory species. There are about 70 species of birds, including 31 seabirds. Fifteen of these species actually nest locally. Seabirds include the black knotty and the white tern. The only land bird is the house sparrow, introduced by man. Marine 
There are about 300 species of fish, 250 of which are reef fish. Arthropods Demographics Historical population figures are unknown. In 1862, the population was estimated at about 10,000. In 1960, the entire population was about 15,000. In the 2011 census, the number of island residents was 53,158. Over two-thirds of the population live in the capital, Majuro and Ibai, the secondary urban center, located in Kwajalein Atoll. This excludes many who have relocated elsewhere, primarily to the United States. The Compact of Free Association allows them to freely relocate to the United States and obtain work there. A large concentration of about 4,300 Marshall Islanders have relocated to Springdale, Arkansas, the largest population concentration of natives outside their island home. Most of the residents are Marshallese, who are of Micronesian origin and migrated from Asia several thousand years ago. A minority of Marshallese have some recent Asian ancestry, mainly Japanese. About one half of the nation's population lives on Majuro, the capital, and Ibai, a densely populated island. The outer islands are sparsely populated due to lack of employment opportunities and economic development. Life on the outer atolls is generally traditional. The official languages of the Marshall Islands are English and Marshallese. Both languages are widely spoken. Religion Major religious groups in the Republic of the Marshall Islands include the United Church of Christ, Congregational in the Marshall Islands, with 51.5% of the population, the Assemblies of God, 24.2%, the Roman Catholic Church, 8.4%, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, 8.3%. Also represented are Bukat Nan Jesus, also known as Assembly of God Part 2, 2.2%, Baptist, 1.0%, Seventh-day Adventists, 0.9%, Full Gospel, 0.7%, and the Baha'i Faith, 0.6%. Persons without any religious affiliation account for a very small percentage of the population. There is also a small community of Ahmadiyya Muslims based in Majuro, with the first mosque opening in the capital in September 2012. Health See Health in the Marshall Islands During the Castle Bravo test of the first deployable thermonuclear bomb, a miscalculation resulted in the explosion being over twice as large as predicted. The nuclear fallout spread eastward onto the inhabited Rongelap and Rongerik atolls. These islands were not evacuated before the explosion. Many of the Marshall Islands natives have since suffered from radiation burns and radioactive dusting, suffering the similar fates as the Japanese fishermen aboard the Daigo Fuker Yumaru, but have received little, if any, compensation from the federal government. Government the government of the Marshall Islands operates under a mixed parliamentary presidential system as set forth in its constitution. Elections are held every four years and universal suffrage, for all citizens above 18, with each of the 24 constituencies, see below, electing one or more representatives, senators, to the lower house of RMI's unicameral legislature, the Nishialan. Majuro, the capital atoll, elects five senators, the president, who is head of state as well as head of government, is elected by the 33 senators of the Nishialan. Four of the five Marshallese presidents who have been elected since the constitution was adopted in 1979 have been traditional paramount chiefs. In January 2016, Senator Hilda Heine was elected by parliament as the first female president of the Marshall Islands, previous president Kasten Nemra lost office after serving two weeks in a vote of no confidence. Legislative power lies with the Nishiela. The upper house of parliament, called the Council of Erge, is an advisory body comprising 12 tribal chiefs. The executive branch consists of the president and the presidential cabinet, which consists of 10 ministers appointed by the president with the approval of the Nishiela. The 24 electoral districts into which the country is divided correspond to the inhabited islands and atolls. There are currently four political parties in the Marshall Islands, Ilan Kainad, aka, United People's Party, UKP, Kienioam, KEA, and United Democratic Party, UDP. Rule is shared by the AKA and the UDP. The following senators are in the legislative body. Foreign Affairs and Defense the Compact of Free Association with the United States gives the U.S. sole responsibility for international defense of the Marshall Islands. It gives islanders the right to emigrate to the United States and to work there. 
The Marshall Islands was admitted to the United Nations based on the Security Council's recommendation on August 9, 1991, in Resolution 704 in the General Assembly's approval on September 17, 1991, in Resolution 46 thirds. Doubt in international politics within the United Nations, the Marshall Islands has often voted consistently with the United States with respect to General Assembly resolutions. On April 28, 2015, the Iranian Navy seized the Marshall Island flagged MV Maersk Tigris near the Strait of Hormuz. The ship had been chartered by Germany's Rickmers Ship Management, which stated that the ship contained no special cargo and no military weapons. The ship was reported to be under the control of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard according to the Pentagon. Tensions escalated in the region due to the intensifying of Saudi-led coalition attacks in Yemen. The Pentagon reported that the destroyer USS Farragut and a maritime reconnaissance aircraft were dispatched upon receiving a distress call from the ship Tigris and it was also reported that all 34 crew members were detained. U.S. defense officials have said that they would review U.S. defense obligations to the government of the Marshall Islands in the wake of recent events and also condemned the shots fired at the bridge as inappropriate. Data was reported in May 2015 that Tehran would release the ship after it paid a penalty. In March 2017, at the 34th regular session of the UN Human Rights Council, Vanuatu made a joint statement on behalf of the Marshall Islands and some other Pacific nations raising human rights violations in the western New Guinea, which has been occupied by Indonesia since 1963, and requested that the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights produce a report. Indonesia rejected allegations. More than 100,000 Papuans have died during a 50-year Papua conflict. Since 1991 the Republic of Marshall Islands Sea Patrol, a division of Marshall Islands Police, has operated the 160-ton patrol vessel Ramis Lamer. Lamer is one of 22 Pacific Forum patrol vessels Australia provided to smaller nations in the Pacific Forum. While some other nations' missions for their vessels include sovereignty, protection, the terms of the Compact of Free Association restrict Lamer to civilian missions, like fishery protection and search and rescue. Culture Although the ancient skills are now in decline, the Marshallese were once able navigators, using the stars and stick and shell charts. Sports Football The Marshall Islands have a small club league, including Cooper as the most successful club. One tournament was held by Play Soccer Make Peace. There is a small football association on the island of Majuro. The sport of football and its growth is new to the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands does not have a national football team presently. The Marshall Islands is the only sovereign country in the world that does not have a record of a national football match. Marshall Islands Baseball, Softball Federation Softball and baseball are held under one sports federation in the Marshall Islands. The president is Jaima Dinako Kaba. Both sports are growing at a fast pace with hundreds of Marshallese people behind the Marshall Islands Baseball, Softball Federation. The Marshall Islands achieved a silver medal in the Micronesian Games in 2012, as well as medals in the SPG Games. Economy The islands have few natural resources, and their imports far exceed exports. According to the CIA, the value of exports in 2013 was approximately $53.7 million while estimated imports were $133.7 million. Agricultural products include coconuts, tomatoes, melons, taro, breadfruit, fruits, pigs and chickens. Industry is made of the production of copra and craft items, tuna processing and tourism. The GDP in 2016 was an estimated $180 million, with a real growth rate of 1.7%. The GDP per capita was $3,300. The International Monetary Fund reported in mid-2016 that the economy of the Republic had expanded by about 0.5% in the fiscal year 2015 thanks to an improved fisheries sector. A surplus of 3% of GDP was recorded owing to record high fishing license fees. Growth is expected to rise to about 1.5% and inflation to about 0.5% in FY 2016, as the effects of the drought in earlier 2016 are offset by the resumption of infrastructure projects. In 2018, the Republic of Marshall Islands passed the Sovereign Currency Act, which made it the first country to issue their own cryptocurrency and certify it as legal tender, the currency is called the Sovereign. Shipping The Marshall Islands plays a vital role in the international shipping industry as a flag of convenience for commercial vessels. The Marshallese Registry began operations in 1990, 
and is managed through a joint venture with International Registries Incorporated, a U.S.-based corporation that has offices and major shipping centers worldwide. As of 2017, the Marshallese Ship Registry was the second largest in the world, after that of Panama. Unlike some flag countries, there is no requirement that a Marshallese flag vessel be owned by a Marshallese individual or corporation. Following the 2015 seizure of the MV Maersk Tigris, the United States announced that its treaty obligation to defend the Marshall Islands did not extend to foreign-owned Marshallese flag vessels at sea. As a result of ship-to-ship -ship transfers by Marshallese flag tanker vessels, the Marshall Islands have statistically been one of the largest importers of crude oil from the United States, despite the fact that the islands have no oil refining capacity. Labor In 2007, the Marshall Islands joined the International Labor Organization, which means its labor laws will comply with international benchmarks. This may affect business conditions in the islands. Taxation The income tax has two brackets, with rates of 8% and 12%. The corporate tax is 3% of revenue. Foreign assistance United States government assistance is the mainstay of the economy. Under terms of the amended Compact of Free Association, the U.S. is committed to provide 57.7 million U.S. dollars per year in assistance to the Marshall Islands RMI, through 2013, and then 62.7 million U.S. dollars through 2023, at which time a trust fund, made up of U.S. and RMI contributions, will begin perpetual annual payouts. The United States Army maintains the Ronald Reagan Ballistic Missile Defense Test Site on Kwajalein Atoll. Marshallese landowners receive rent for the base. Agriculture Agricultural production is concentrated on small farms. The most important commercial crop is copra, followed by coconut, breadfruit, pandanus, banana, taro and arrowroot. The livestock consists primarily of pigs and chickens. Industry Small-scale industry is limited to handicrafts, fish processing, and copra. Fishing Majuro is the world's busiest tuna transshipment port in the world with 704 transshipments totaling 444,393 tons in 2015. Majuro is also a tuna processing center, the Pan Pacific Foods plant exports processed tuna to a number of countries, primarily the United States under the Bumblebee brand. Fishing license fees, primarily for tuna, provide noteworthy income for the government. In 1999, a private company built a tuna loining plant with more than 400 employees, mostly women. But the plant closed in 2005 after a failed attempt to convert it to produce tuna steaks, a process that requires half as many employees. Operating costs exceeded revenue, and the plant's owners tried to partner with the government to prevent closure. But government officials personally interested in an economic stake in the plant refused to help. After the plant closed, it was taken over by the government, which had been the guarantor of a $2 million loan to the business. Energy on September 15, 2007, Wittenberry, of the Tabalar Copper Processing Plant in the Marshall Islands capital of Majuro, said power authorities, private companies, and entrepreneurs had been experimenting with coconut oil as alternative to diesel fuel for vehicles, power generators, and ships. Coconut trees abound in the Pacific's tropical islands. Copra, the meat of the coconut, yields coconut oil, one liter for every six to ten coconuts. In 2009, a 57-kilowatt solar power plant was installed, the largest in the Pacific at the time, including New Zealand. It is estimated that 330 kilowatts of solar and 450 kilowatts of wind power would be required to make the College of the Marshall Islands energy self-sufficient. Marshall's Energy Company, MEC, a government entity, provides the islands with electricity. In 2008, 420 solar home systems of 200 WP each were installed on Ailing Lap Lap Atoll sufficient for limited electricity use. Education The Ministry of Education is the education agency of the islands. Marshall Islands public school system operates the state schools in the Marshall Islands. In the 1994-1995 school year the country had 103 elementary schools and 13 secondary schools. There were 27 private elementary schools and one private high school. Christian groups operated most of the private schools. Historically the Marshallese population was taught in English first with Marshallese instruction coming later, but this was reversed in the 1990s to keep the island's cultural heritage and so children could write in Marshallese. Now English language instruction begins in grade 3. 
Christine McMurray and Roy Smith wrote in Diseases of Globalization, Socioeconomic Transition and Health that this could potentially weaken the children's English skills. There are two tertiary institutions operating in the Marshall Islands, the College of the Marshall Islands and the University of the South Pacific. Transportation The Marshall Islands are served by the Marshall Islands International Airport in Majuro, the Buckles Army Airfield in Kwajalein, and other small airports and airstrips. Dot. Airlines include United Airlines, Nauru Airlines, Air Marshall Islands, and Asia Pacific Airlines. Media and Communications the Marshall Islands have several AM and FM radio stations. AM stations are 1,098.5 kW V7 Abmajuro, Radio Marshalls, National Coverage, and 1,224 AFN Kwajalein, both public radio, as well as 1,557 Micronesia Heatwave. The FM stations are 97.9 V7 Abmajuro, V7 A 96.3 FM Uliga and 104.1 V7 Abmajuro. Baptist Religious. BBC World is broadcast on 98.5 FM Majuro. The most recent station is Power 103.5 which started broadcasting in 2016. A first stations include 99.9 AFN Kwajalein, Country, 101.1 AFN, Adult Rock, and 102.1 AFN, Hot AC. There is one broadcast television station, NBC TV operated by the state. Cable TV is available. On cable TV, most programs are shown two weeks later than in North America but news in real time can be viewed on CNN, CNBC and BBC. American Forces Radio and Television also provides TV service to Guadalajara and Atoll. The Marshall Islands National Telecommunications Authority NTA, provides telephone, cable TV, MHTV, fax, cellular and internet services. The authority is a private corporation with significant ownership by the national government. Nation 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 